welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then I'm so happy to meet you. I almost forgot my opening line then. It's been that long since I've done like a sit down video. I'm feeling a bit intimidated, nervous, sweating. Don't really know, can't, can't really get my words out. So before we get into this video, please get comfortable, get yourself a nice warm drink, get all the snacks and let's get straight into this rather large haul. What as well, this is totally gonna ruin my whole kind of like fresh spring aesthetic going on, but I'm still using a bloody Christmas cup. I've just got a bit of an attachment to this mug, candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses, and I think I've just accepted the fact I'm gonna use it all year until next Christmas. Okay, so starting with B&M because it's just one of them shops that I feel like everyone loves. The first little piece of gold that I found is this now. If you're new to my channel, I am obsessed with teddy fleece duvets until the summer and then I'm gonna low-key hate them. You don't know until you've tried it. Once you have experienced a night's sleep in the cloud, you will never go back to normal bedding. So this is almost like a white cream. My bedroom, I'm going for everything white and gray. I'm actually getting a new bed soon which is going to be white so i feel like this will look really really nice this was reduced from 24.99 to only 20 pounds and inside i think you get what do you get that's bloody mystery i don't know what you get until you open it i'm guessing you get a duvet cover and two pillowcases and then next i picked up this mattress protector just to add a little bit of extra coziness to be honest and then a little bit of a boring purchase i picked up some more pillowcases which were just white and they were five pounds and they're like a jersey material okay next up i picked up one of these little storage boxes which you can also use as a stall but do be careful because they do collapse um i sat on my champagne one the other day and it just completely caved in and it it left me feeling somewhat of an oaf to be honest like i just broken a chair leg or something so you know we've all been there we've all done it but just sit on these with caution um i think these are brilliant value for money these are 10 pounds you can also get a bigger one which is like a rectangle shape for about 20 pounds but yeah i just think for an extra little bit of storage do you know what i wasn't going to mention this but i've got to that age in life where i get excited about having storage space just love the thought of having a really minimalistic house and then just a place where i can hoard things that i'll never use nor want but don't want to get rid of you know those things next up i picked up these marble effect tea coffee and sugar pots and these were only 8.99 and i do find it quite rare to find nice ones of these but I just think they're really simple and they would look really lovely out if you kind of like to have stuff on your worktop. So next up, this is one of those purchases that I just get suckered into every single time, like my soup maker, like my juicer, where it's one of those things that I think, oh my god, I'm going to buy a juicer and I'm going to make so many green juices. And the reality of it is I hate cleaning it, so I just don't use it. I just thought, what a bloody great idea. They've got all sorts going on there. Bit of asparagus, few prawns mushroom i think that's some halloumi oh no it's prawns peppers tomatoes they've even got a bit of bloody parsley on there like, i just thought what a bloody good idea you can literally have a full-on surf and turf at home so just a few little bits here i picked up one of these little storage baskets to go in my shower i think these are such a good idea I like to kind of have everything together and I think you can keep your shower gel, your sponge, your razor, just bits all together in here. And it kind of hooks on your shower thing like this, which I thought was just a really handy little idea. And that's only three pounds. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. The fact I've actually got excited about these means I am sad, basically. <laughs> so the first thing I got was a wok. I have got some stir fry downstairs and I actually had to cook it in a saucepan the other day and it went soggy as hell, it was pretty disgusting. So I thought it's about time Gemma you invested in a wok. This was only £5. Honestly I went to Tesco's the other day and the woks in there were like £40. <laughs> I am not spending £40 on a wok, do you know what I mean? And then I also picked up this little set of frying pans which was also only £5. Now this next bag holds a very close place to my heart. It's my favourite bag out of the entire haul and it's full of 
new cleaning bits in B&M. I actually have a speed clean coming in the next few weeks. I feel like now I'm in a nice new house I can do a lot more cleaning videos which I really really love doing so I'm very excited to get back into those. So from B&M I picked up two minkies. These have actually gone up in price so much. I feel like ever since Mrs Hinch like made these a massive thing they're now like three pounds but I'm pretty sure in B&M these were £1.49 each which is actually really really good. Um, so I picked up two of those because I don't really use other sponges now. I just think nothing does the job quite like Mincare. And oh bloody hell, I'm so excited about these. <sighs> so my first purchase was this marble brush. I just thought, how pretty is that? That Like it's not often you refer to a dish brush as pretty. And it was only £1.50. I know there are a lot of marble lovers out there as well. So I had to pick one of those up. Then to go with my dish brush... I also picked up a scrubbing brush, but I'm going to use this on my sofa to get out all of Tilly's hair um, because my sofas are just looking a bit, just a bit haggard really. And I thought they could do with a little spruce. Oh, we got a leak, lads. We have got a leak. So if you don't know, Fabulosa has bought out spray detergent. Now, I used to think Fabulosa, I think I'm saying that right, was kind of the ripoff of Zoflora. And I was a little bit upset with them, I'm not going to lie. I was like, don't try and overtake Zoflora. But then... I saw these and I just thought, it's just a bit genius to be honest. So they have brought out these disinfectant sprays, which I just bloody love. They do them in so many gorgeous flavours as well. So I picked up wild rhubarb. I also picked up papaya. And then the last one I got was electrify, which I'm unsure how that's going to smell, but... I just thought, who doesn't love a scented disinfectant? I guess I'm very, very excited to use these. And these are also suitable for vegans. And these were only £1 each. Then, next, I had to go back to my roots and get two of the Christmas Zofloras. These are my favourite scents ever. Cranberry and orange and winter spice. They didn't actually have a cinnamon, which I was a little bit, a little bit sad about. I know every single year, as soon as these come out, like in December, they're like gold dust. So I thought, if I get them now save them till next like November then I can pretend I'm one of the first to get my hands on them so this is a foam refresher this is almost like the 1001 spray I think that you spray on the carpets then you vacuum it up and it just smells delicious and this is in the scent wild rhubarb again they had a few different flavors of this but they only had this one in the B&M that I went to and then last but definitely not least I picked up this pet hair removal mitt I thought it was brilliant it's that kind of um can't think of what material this is called but cat hairs and dog hairs like stick to it okay so moving on to the good stuff which is all from the range i would say the range is actually one of my favorite shops maybe even more than home sense i just think there's always something good in the range and they have such a range of things i got three okay i can't actually lift this three bags this big okay starting off with i'm not going to say one of my favorites because i'm going to end up saying that for every single thing that i got so first of all i got this beautiful faux fur throw now i wasn't actually going to buy this because it was quite pricey it was 40 pounds but the quality of this is insane i had tilly in mind as well because she loves anything like faux fur she loves it and one of her favorite places to sleep is actually on the end of the bed so i thought do you know what tilly i'll treat you to a new throw and I just thought this would look really, really nice. They have this in so many different colours as well. So next I picked up some new bedding. I just got plain white. And this is like almost pinstriped. So there's like silky pinstripes, which I think adds a really nice little bit of detail. Um, I just wanted something really simple for the bedroom. I want to keep everything grey and white. I think it just looks really fresh and clean and... Yes, yeah, all well and good until you have fake tan. Next up, I picked up these bloody huge candle holders. Now, these actually live downstairs on my TV unit, kind of like behind the TV. Um, but I just think these look... I don't really know how to show you these. Like, they're so big, I'm like... I think these look really, really expensive and they were only £7.99 each. Then, I got these gorgeous white photo frames. Now... I've never been one for having personal pictures around my home. I don't know why. I've just never, never really had it. And I just think it adds a really nice touch to each room and just makes it a little bit more personalised. So I picked up these matching ones, which were only £1.50 each. 
I'm either going to have these on my bedside tables or I might actually have these on the windowsill in the living room. I'm not entirely sure yet. But if you are one of those people that don't really like to have like personal photos, you could actually put quotes in these as well. I just thought they were a really pretty frame, especially for £1.50. So next I picked up these, which I actually already have on my bedside table, but they're just a little bit tatty now. I've had them for about two or three years and I just thought I'd invest in some new ones. These are only £5.99 each. So yeah, the range is one of the best places to buy faux flowers, especially like flower arrangements. They have so many and I just think they're so like inexpensive. I think you could go to somewhere like Laura Ashley. I went in there yesterday and there was this beautiful flower arrangement, but it was like £175 and I just think I'd never spend that much money on a flower arrangement. Oh, I've just come across these, which aren't actually from the range or B&M. They're actually from Next Home, but I'm going to show you anyway because I know you guys will love them. So these are very similar to the ones I've just shown you, but they're in a white, like, ceramic vase. They were £12 each, so they were double the price of the ones from the range. But these are, like, more of a pure white. I feel like the ones from the range are a little bit more yellowy. So next up, I bought two of these little table lamps. Now, what I was kind of thinking is downstairs in my living room, I don't really know where to have a lamp. I never, ever, 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 ever have the big light on. And I get very offended when people turn the big light on. So I like to have like a very dim like lamp on. I like to be cozy and I just feel like the big light in my face is not cozy. So I got two of these. And I plan to kind of put these at the very back of my TV units. Now these were only actually £9.99 each, which is brilliant. I think these would look beautiful as well as a bedside lamp. And then the last thing that I actually got from the lighting section was this beautiful chandelier. So I bought two of these. I've put one up already in the bedroom and it looks so beautiful. And then this one is going to go in my living room. Um... I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep that there. I might re I might move it around. But for now, I just thought it was simple. And they're really, really, really pretty. And these were £22.99. Then I got suckered in at the till as per usual. But I actually discovered that they do Valentine's minkies. Still not over the fact they do Christmas ones. Let alone Valentine's Day ones. I just thought, how incredibly cute are they? Sorry, I'm just a little bit shocked with myself because... I was this close to ending this haul without showing you the, just the best part. The best part of it. God's sake. If you guys are new here, I have an obsession with the pregnancy pillows. You know, the V-shaped pillows. My mum actually had one when I was little. And ever since then, I cannot sleep without a V-shaped pillow. I tried one. Oh my gosh, you have to. They are just, they're a game changer. You will have the best night's sleep of your entire life. But... You have to lay on it a certain way. So it's a V-shape, obviously that's why it's called a V-shaped pillow. But what you do is you have it on its side and you have your head on this part and then you almost spoon it and you have like the other part in between your legs. As weird as that sounds, it's just so comfy. And then sometimes if it's a little bit hot, I have like one leg out the quilt, but then the V pillow like in between my leg and the quilt. It's really hard to explain, but it's just so comfortable. I found bloody Teddy Fleece V shaped pillows in the range and I've just never felt so complete in my entire life. I've never felt this content ever. These were, I think, only £14.99, so very, very affordable, and they're cream, and tonight, ladies and gents, is going to be the best sleep of my life, let me tell you. So, my loves, that is going to go ahead and conclude the end of today's huge B&M and the range haul. I really, really, really hope you guys have enjoyed it. So the next video I have got is going to go live on Wednesday and it's going to be a answering assumptions about me video. So if you would like to assume something about me or make me feel uncomfortable or ask me a question, then I'm going to pop that on my Instagram story tonight about eight o'clock. So yeah, if you would like to be a part of it, then head over to my Instagram. I'll link my Instagram and everything in the description box below as always. But yeah, that's going to be Wednesday's video and then I'm going to get back into the vlogs. I'm sending you all of the happy, positive vibes for the brand new week ahead and I shall see you all on Wednesday. I love you all so much. Bye! You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you